<sighs> Damn, Q. Maybe you did that. We, as African Americans, are the originators of a lot of this stuff. For we sure. built America. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Everything that's good about America is because of black folks. We right. built that. You know right. what I mean? Yo, 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 you know what it is, man. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Whole gang is in the building. Got my man Angry Principal holding it down. What's up? Got my man Bo holding it down. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. Red Zone, baby, you already know what it is. All right, so look, we got something exciting for you, right? So we've been reviewing uh, whiskeys and bourbons and all kind of shit, right? But today we got a content creator in the building that... He don't even know that I know him, but I know him already <laughs> because I follow all this shit. Like, like you know, like I'm stalking and shit. But I, I learned about a lot of black owned whiskeys and bourbons from just watching his page, dog. So we got my man Charles in the building from your friend Charles. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, guys? Hey, pleasure. Yo, hey, thanks for following me and uh, discovering my page. You know, I just love that I was able to just take my passion and just like you know, I when I started just reviewing different black owned whiskeys and liquors or whatever, like I didn't know it was going to grow to what it was, and I'm just so glad that it was able to make something that could reach people and really sh highlight some of these small businesses and stuff too so no, like, for sure thanks for having me on this man like this is real professional you know you know what I'm saying? <laughs> normally i'm just sitting on my room with an iphone 12 whatever you know what i'm saying doing everything like this is like like this might cost probably more than my rent right now man, real, man. Don't, don't eat trip. i got that shit off amazon <laughs> For real, for real. Mm. So what what got you into this though? Like in the first place? Like you were just a you know like a, a whiskey drinker or so um what really got me into it was um I saw a advertisement, maybe it was a story about Burr Brothers Bourbon. Like they're out of Kentucky, no, Burr Brothers, yeah, yeah, uh, sure. a distillery. Absolutely. And then uh I tried to find it, right? So, like, it, like I'm in Northern Virginia, right? So, I'm in okay. D.C.'s right around the corner. So, like, they didn't, of course, they didn't have it in Virginia, but they had it in D.C. So, I went to a Black-owned liquor store called Chats. They're in mm -hmm. Capitol Hill. Super okay. family-owned guy. And so, when I went there, they didn't have it, but he introduced me to a lot of different Black-owned brands. So, he put me on to Los Hermanos. They put me on okay. to Whiskey Right. They put me on to... Uh, Whiskey Right is good. I'm surprised they're Whiskey not here Wright. tonight. You know what? Yeah. I, I don't know if I should tell you on the podcast they're out of business. Oh, a little, shit. little, uh, little dispute or whatever happened there. I could tell you off. I could tell you offline about what happened with them, okay, but sure. even though they did have a really good product, they it, had a really good it, product, it, 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 and it. then there was another brand. I think it was a tequila they put me on to. I can't remember the name of it, but. You know, they uh, they essentially put me on to a lot of different black experiences. He just opened my mind to like, hey, this industry exists. Yeah. And so for me, you know, whenever I see something, I just like I, the interest, I just grab onto it. For sure. So like, I just started, you know, just started collecting. You know, what I mean, I start buying stuff here and there, just searching different black yeah. spirits. And oh man, this is here, this is here. Like this mm -hmm. being surprised, I'll be at Total Wine is there. Right. And then I started building this bar, and then people will come over, and I'm telling the stories, I'm telling about the owner and stuff like that, and people are just like, I never heard this brand before. Yeah. And so, um, and it's like, I'm a bartender. I never heard of this brand and they taste good though, too. Like I had sure. food tray vodka was a pair with this, uh, uh, pomegranate, uh, vodka or whatever. Right. Yeah. And that was, that was really good. I think that was my first video. Okay. And then, um, I just kind of started like, Hey, you know, let me actually start a TikTok page and just start yeah. talking about this stuff because no one, I, I wanted to learn how to do TikTok and, uh, people <laughs> right. didn't know how to do this. And then, you know, it just kind of kept growing and growing from there. Me just interview in, uh, reviewing individual things and then yeah. just kind of, you know, you kind of learn, hey, this is what makes a popular video, or whatever, and it's right. kind of, you know, kind of blew up. No, nah, for sure. So, like, in a like with that though, I know you do whiskeys and everything else. Yeah. Like, so, what's what's kind of your favorite? Like, is whiskey your thing, or like, are you a? Oh, I, a I drink everything. Man. I drink everything. <laughs> you know, everything. here's the thing. For me personally, I like to drink and I try everything. I really hate that mentality of like I only drink this. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I and I think you. that's what's really cool about my audience is that a lot of people want to um, vote with their dollar and be like, hey, I don't have to just buy this because I've been buying this for the past ten years or whatever. Like, I have. A little like my audience has a little extra money, I have a little more expendable money. Mm -hmm. They're like, Hey, how can I support my community by also buying products that I like? Nah, you know sure. what I'm saying? So, um, I'd like to try everything, you know what I mean? If there's one thing I do drink the most of, probably oh, yeah, would be whiskey, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, it kind of depends. I, I do right now, I've been drinking a lot of guidance just because okay. that's what I have. Damn, I haven't my... had that in a while, yeah. Guys, yeah. it's great, man. Uh, made from uh, Justin, cool guy out of Nashville, Tennessee. 
Yeah, I met right. him when I was down there, man. Mm-hmm. Super great folks. And then uh, also, um, I got this Uncle Nick, Uncle Nira single barrel that I've been drinking too. So I, I really mm-hmm. love that. Mm-hmm. And I just got that new seven 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 bottle. So um, okay. eventually, yeah. I'm gonna get uh, do a little review on that one. See if see how I like it. But yeah. you yeah. know, yeah. Um, distillers. It's called Master Distillers. Oh, they have a Master's blend. The yeah, the Master's yeah, blend. Yeah, I tried that. I have a bottle of that. I went down to the distillery. They only sell it at the distillery. I've tried it, and I have a bottle, but I haven't opened it yet. So, okay, so I need your opinion on this. Mm-hmm. To me, that's one of the nicest tasting or just visitor centers yeah. out of any other distilleries. I've oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think? See, I haven't been. I, I think it's amazing. I think it's amazing. I think what Fawn's done down there is incredible just to know that a black woman built all of this and been mm-hmm. able to tell this history about Uncle Nears. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not only it's a great product, you know, it's yeah. the history behind it, you know. I happen to be a big history buff myself. So, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, just knowing that black history, you know, and how it was affected. Just the bourbon culture as exactly. well, right? Right. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. You know, it's one of those things where, like, we as African Americans are the originators of a lot of this stuff. For we sure. built America. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. Everything that's good about America is because of black folks. We right. built that. You know right. what I mean? Right. And when it comes to bourbon, when it comes to buildings, when it comes to road, when it comes to freaking stoplights, the air right. conditioning, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's the air people, we live in it right that, now. You know what I'm saying? The super soaker. You know what I'm saying? Right. Black people built that. You know what I mean? Tus- so, it's, mm-hmm. Tus- 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 yeah, And, you know, the cool thing about Uncle Nero though is like there's even more stories like Uncle Nearest right. that are out there that people are telling. So like right. even here at Taste of Black Spirits, you got Bernie Brown who was mm-hmm. like one of the um uh going out west, like one of those pioneers of going out west and making moonshine and making a living doing that. For sure. Um yeah Fort Mose here, mm-hmm. which is like Bernie Fort- Brown by the way is fire. Oh yeah, it's yeah. great. I love sure. I love I love the um that uh, that playing hooch. Yeah like, you think the play- that hooch that shit, you know that shit is really like fucking moonshine. I, yeah like, I, mean, I moonshine. love that he did call Hooch, they call it hooch because yeah, like, yeah. hooch is something like you know you go to Thanksgiving you got that uncle got a jug you know what I'm saying you know what it's, it's, it's a clear jug you know what's in it you know what I'm saying it's that hooch. out of nowhere you know what I mean so like I love that he kept that name and I love how um Al Henderson's actually like telling that story and letting right. know that like this history doesn't die here you no, know no. or yeah, even yeah. like Fort Mose with Victor George what he's doing down in Florida just uh I didn't know about that being the first free black town in no. America you know what I mean straight history lesson exactly. like I'm, I'm going to learn about about some whiskey and found out something about our exactly. culture. Exactly. You know, know what I mean? Yeah, it's sure. amazing. I just love that he's been able, like, even through that, being able to tell that whiskey and show that stuff there, too. So I just love that, you know, there's so much black history. And, like, we are a part of so much of this For in sure. American culture. And I just love being able to expose people like, hey, you guys love drinking whiskey. You like drinking X, Y, Z. Mm-hmm. Why don't you support some a black person right. who's also mm-hmm. supporting your community and stuff like that, too? For sure. No, that's what's up, dog. Mm-hmm. Well, look, I ain't gonna hold you on, though. I know you want to get back out to the crowd. I right, Thank you for uh, stopping in, though, and tell the people where they can uh, find your content, though. Okay, hey, you guys can find me at Your Friend Charles. It's the letters you are Friend Charles. Um, it's like that on uh, TikTok and Instagram. I even got yourfriendcharles.com. Um, it's a little old. It's a little dated. Don't get me wrong. I, I need to update it. I haven't paid the right people. Like, I just do it myself. I'm the only one who works here. So if anything right. doesn't look right, just know I'm the only one who works here. All right? Right. So, yeah. But, hey, um, hey, uh, thanks for everyone who follows me. Thanks for following me. Hey, I'm def- definitely check out the podcast, too, man. No like, And you guys have been doing some great work as well. Like, for you sure. know, this is just real professional to be able to come out here. And you guys just being able to have that love and that brotherhood of bourbon and stuff, too. Like, I just no love doubt. seeing black people in community doing stuff. So, like, yeah, it's amazing. For sure. Appreciate that, dog. Mm-hmm. On, on that note, though, we about to get back out here to some more liquor. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> black Spirits event in downtown Detroit. Again, man, the whole gang is here, and you already know what it is. Everybody loves BBW, man. That's beards, bourbon, whiskey, the podcast. Got my man Angry Principal in the building. Drink what you like, how you like. Got my man Bo holding it down. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205. Peace out, y'all. <laughs>